The last video for this week is a small application of derivatives to limits. It's called L'Hopital's rule. It applies to indeterminate forms of type 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity. The type here is important. If you are going to use this rule, you first have to check that the limit is of the appropriate form. If the limit does not have this form, the rule will not work. But if the limit is a 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity form, then the rule applies. What does the rule say? Well, simply that I can take the derivative of the numerator and denominator, and the limit is the same. How does this help? Well, often the derivative limit will be easier to work with. Be careful with these derivatives. This is not a quotient rule. This is two individual separate derivatives. The numerator by itself, using whatever rules it needs, and the denominator by itself, using whatever rules it needs. Let me do an example. Here is a limit. As x goes to infinity, both root x and the logarithm of x also grow to infinity, since both are growing functions. This is a limit of type infinity over infinity, so L'Hopital's rule applies. That means that I can take the derivative of both numerator and denominator. So I do that. The derivative of the logarithm is 1 over x. The derivative of root x is 1 half or 1 over 2 root x. This derivative is calculated by writing the root as x to the 1 half and using the power rule, but I haven't shown the steps here. Then I get a nested fraction, which I simplify in the usual way. The result of simplifying the nested fraction is 2 root x over x. I can simplify this by cancelling the root x. The denominator x is the same as root x squared, so 1 root x cancels and 1 root x remains in the denominator. Then I have a limit that I can just analyze. 2 is fixed, root x is growing, therefore the limit must be 0. And this is how L'Hopital's rule helps. It can take some difficult limits and using derivatives, turn them into easier limits that are easier to anal analyze. You might have asked here, why didn't I just use asymptotic analysis, which would have immediately said that the limit is 0? We have this great t technique of asymptotic analysis, why am I ignoring it? It's true that asymptotic analysis is the most direct and shortest way to calculate this limit. However, other techniques, such as L'Hopital's rule, are precisely the way that mathematicians figured out the asymptotic ranking of functions in the first place. How do I know that the logarithm grows slower than the square root? I just claimed this earlier. Well, this calculation, using L'Hopital's, can be used as a proof for this piece of the asymptotic ranking. And this explains why it's still a useful calculation, even though asymptotic analysis exists.